and waziri tukimalizia uh, last there's a time back there was a clip which trended and uh, and we as online media will wish if you can address about, 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 about your shoes how, how did it happen until the nys akasafisha uh, kiatu how did it happen waziri tafadhali you just you guys in the media love building mountains out of nothing it was nothing it was we were planting trees at the at the national youth service uh-huh. and in the process of planting trees okay. apparently my shoes got really muddy i hadn't even noticed it uh-huh. so this young officer walks to me and tells me excuse me i think your shoes are too muddy <laughs> <laughs> and i hope madam bg allows a tip <laughs> Oh, no, no, you don't no, allow no, it. No, no, no. <laughs> it's part of the discipline. Part of the discipline. Amazing. Uh, <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> is a, is a <laughs> like that. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm sorry. Thank you. To just come together and chat a way forward for the creative industry. Yes, yes. And and the creative space we are talking about um, the whole art space, mm-hmm. music, fine art or visual art. You're talking about theater, fashion, film, all that constitutes what now falls under the Department of Art at the Ministry of Youth Affairs, Sports and uh, and the Arts. Yeah. And it is a space which has really not received very good attention from government in the past okay so you hear issues of uh, musicians who put their productions out there yeah. but they don't receive any royalties okay. they don't receive any money okay. we are listening to their music on skiza yeah. uh, ringback tones we are watching their music on tv on radio when you get into a matatu their music is playing but they don't see any money yeah. uh, and so today was an opportunity for us to discuss how can we fix that how can we get pesa mfukoni yeah. to artists yeah. you have uh, fine artists or what you call visual artists who do amazing work but they're really not getting money out of it yeah. people who want to get into the film industry so today i convened the stakeholders in this sector for us to start a journey that can turn the creatives into a mega industry an industry that can provide employment for our young people and also be a big contribution contributor to gdp yeah. to, to to contribute to our economic growth yeah. and uh, i'm glad that we have agreed on a, a number of key things we want to create a digital space and i'm glad that you guys operate within the digital space we want to create digital space we we are launching a portal called the talanta hella portal okay. which is going to be a platform where you can uh, bring your creativity record whatever you want to record put it up there we'll have people who will assess it okay. if you have talent we'll give you an opportunity to grow your talent through the Kenya Academy of Sports and Art we want to market your art so that we can turn you into a mega star okay. um we also want to increase revenues to artists yeah. through different ways one of those ways for instance is to ask government to be a big buyer of people who do who do fine art we want to do film kenyan film big time we want to increase local content in our in our local media so that kenyans can watch and listen to more kenyan content okay. to more african content so we have a lot of good things which we have agreed on and uh, it's a journey which is exciting for me because it gives us an opportunity to turn the creative space into a mega industry Yeah and a little bit was here about sports we are last week we saw you you went to Qatar to meet with the president of FIFA maybe can you tell tell us what you agreed about I'm very happy today because uh, the ban that has been weighing heavy on Kenya for the last one year has been lifted okay. um, I went to Doha last week to meet uh, the president of FIFA Mr Gianni Infantino okay. and he hosted me there together with his secretary general and the whole leadership of FIFA and the leadership of CAF led by uh, the president of CAF Patrice Motsepe and we had a good conversation we agreed on ways to take Kenyan football forward okay. Kenyan football is at its lowest ever and we need to do so much to get our football back roaring i met uh, our elite striker michael lunga and mike mike would love to be part of this new beginning 
for Kenyan football. So it was important that we have the ban lifted so that we can now start a new, a new beginning. So I'm excited. It's a new dawn. There's a new sheriff in town. New dawn for football. Yeah. Ban lifted. So let's get cracking. Was it the issue yeah. of cartels? Cartels have been uh, taking money from artists and from the creative industry. How do you plan to deal with cartels that are more probably unseen faces? That is one of the reasons why we gathered here. Okay. I mean, it is so shameful, it is so painful that musicians work so hard to create, to put their creativity out there, and we enjoy their creativity. Yeah. Yet there are some crooks out there, some cartels that steal their money, that live big on the money that belongs to artists. Yeah. We have given them notice that we are going to scatter them to the four winds. Uh -huh. If you're playing around with money belonging to artists, belonging to musicians, your days are so numbered. Okay. Your days are so numbered, we are putting in place a framework where artists can earn big, if it is Kiza, we are already talking with Safaricom, and Safaricom was here today okay. in this summit. Nice. If it is Kiza, we want the Kiza money to just go straight from Safaricom, straight to musicians, with no middle people. Okay. Because these middle cartels are what is causing pain to our musicians and our artists generally. Okay. Yeah. My name is Cliff from Plug TV. Uh, recently, we saw one of the rugby players, William <coughs> Barker, um, complaining about the payment that has not been paid for the past three months. Kindly address that issue. It is very painful. Uh, it's very painful. Today, I did many things. <laughs> Today, I did, uh, I did art here. Yeah. I did rugby. I did football. I did athletics. Okay. One of the things I did today was to hold a meeting with the leadership of the Kenya Rugby Union, the federation that is responsible for rugby. I literally read the riot act to them. I've told them with, in no uncertain terms that they have to style up. They have responsibility for rugby. They have to style up. Okay. They can't be living large, throwing around money that is meant for players and letting players go hungry. Okay. I have told them in no uncertain terms that they have to style up or ship out. You can't send players to Dubai. You've not paid them salaries for three months. You've not given them any allowances. They have left hungry families. They are hungry themselves. So we have agreed on a roadmap also on how to clean up the rugby space. We are going to get more sponsorship into rugby. But I've asked the Kenya Rugby Union to clean their house and become more accountable, more transparent in the way they utilize the resources that we give them. I have also directed that um, all these players' allowances be paid immediately. But I've said these allowances are not going to go to the union we will pay them direct to the players' accounts themselves so that nobody will have a chance to mess up with this money yeah, yeah. that is meant for, for players. Okay. And in future, I've asked all sports people, please bring your requests to us in good time. We don't want to run sports through crisis management. If we had known about these issues in good time, it would never have got this far. But Yelio Peter Sindwele, we are here yeah. to make it... I mean, to make it clear to our players that we'll, be, we'll definitely take better care of you. And was it you took him to Malaysia? Uh, last, there's a time back, there was a clip which trended, and, uh, and we as only media will wish if you can about address my about, shoes. about your shoes. How, how did it happen until the NYS? Uh, how did it happen, Waziri? You, just, you, just, you guys in the media love building mountains out of nothing. Okay, it was nothing. Okay. It was, we were planting trees okay. at the at the National Youth Service, uh -huh. and in the process of planting trees, okay. apparently my shoes got really muddy. I hadn't even noticed it. Uh -huh. So this young officer walks to me and tells me, excuse me, I think your shoes are too muddy. Uh -huh. I look down and I find that my shoes are actually muddy. Uh -huh. But I tell him, forget about it, it's nothing. Okay. I don't think it's anything. I'll get to the office and we'll clean the shoes. He said, no, okay. I can't let my, my, my boss go around in dirty shoes. And his superior said, please don't say no to the young man. Okay. Don't say no, because the, our, part of our training is to discipline them to offer service. Okay. Okay? So I allowed the young man to, to clean my shoes. Uh, it was really uh, something spontaneous. It was not really planned. But of course, I give credit to you media guys who can really build <laughs> Mount Kenya out of nothing. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you so much. But uh, the young man uh, is my big friend. Okay. We have drafted him into, into our team. <laughs> He has since been promoted to a corporal okay. uh, by, the, by the National uh, Youth Service. Okay. Next time you come to my office, uh -huh. he'll be welcoming you Thank as you part so of much. our security team. Thank you so much. So, Azir. all well. Okay. All good. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> and I hope Madam Biji allows a tip. <laughs> <laughs>
no, no. You don't allow it. It's part of the discipline. Part of the discipline. Amazing. Amazing. Is is like that. Thank you. Thank you.